everybody, Matt here from Matt's Movies, Music and More, welcoming you to this week's movie review. The movie I'm talking about today is a kind of forgotten movie from the late 1980s um, and I thought it would be interesting to talk about this one because I'd seen it for the first time talking about this now. Um, so the film I picked is the 1988 comedy Heartbreak Hotel, directed by Chris Columbus and starring Charlie Slatter, Tuesday Weld, and David Keefe as Elvis Presley. Yes, you heard me right, Elvis Presley. Given the name Heartbreak Hotel, obviously that was going to be the case. But this movie is really about a fake sort of, it's, it's a fake story, but it's done with good intentions and it actually had the support of the estate of Elvis Presley. So it's kind of factually right. But at the same time, this story never happened. But um, the movie is basically set in 1972 when Elvis was still doing his um, Vegas residency. And um, what happens is um, his career is kind of dwindling. He's not as successful as he once was, especially with the kids. I mean, he's more targeted at the elder generation from the 50s and 60s. And um, it focuses on um, this um, single mother and her two kids single mother being played by Tuesday Weld and the two kids being played um, by uh, Charlie Slatter and Angela Gotez. And um, what it is, is that Tuesday Weld's character runs a hotel and um, she's been dating this guy and the guy happens to have had a car accident in which she got badly injured and he's kind of a scumbag. And as a way of trying to help his mother recover, Charlie Slatter's character, whose name is Johnny, um, he comes up with this mischievous idea of kidnapping Elvis Presley. So he wants to try and bring Elvis Presley back to meet his mum, like most kids do, I guess. But um, with it, it, what happens is the way that he figures out how to do it is that he knows a woman who works in a um, like a cafe diner place in America one of those 24-hour diners, and she happens to look a bit like Elvis's mother, Gladys. So he says, oh, I've won a competition, and you know, you can go and meet Elvis Presley. And um, he says, just got to put on this wig and dress like this. So when Elvis sees her as he's going into the, into the concert venue and obviously sees him from the stage, he says, oh, that's my mum, you know, because obviously Gladys had died um, and Elvis was very close to his mum. So Johnny writes a little letter and tells Elvis to come and meet us at this specific location. She gets there and finds out that the woman isn't Gladys. And um, she's like, I'm so pleased to meet you, Mr. Presley. And then he's like, well, wait a minute, what the hell's going on? And he turns out he gets kidnapped by Johnny. So Johnny takes him back home to um, Ohio where they live and um, basically introduces Elvis to his mother and... Um, Kind of instant love, really, between Elvis and um, the mother, whose name is Marie. But, um, yeah, with um, with this movie, um, it, it it's really enjoyable, actually. It's a really underrated comedy. Um, it's not earth-shatteringly brilliant, um, but it's also not bad. It's, um, it's very well cast. Um, I think the actors involved in the film are really good. Um, without saying too much about Tuesday World, I don't really know much about her career, so I don't really want to go there. Um, I will mention about um, Charlie Slatter, who I think is really underrated um, as an actor. I think around this time he had done the movie 18 Again with George Burns. So he was becoming an upcoming young actor in, in Hollywood. And then I think a few years later he did the 1991 movie The Delinquents which is an Australian movie with uh, Kylie Minogue and obviously he would then go on later on in his career to do the role that he's most probably famous for which is Diagnosis Murder with Dick Van Dyke and I've got to tell you I think Diagnosis Murder is actually a really underrated series it's it's very funny and Slatter is really good in it he replaced um, Scott Baio on the series and no disrespect to Scott Baio I actually think Charlie Slatter is a better actor than Scott Baio in Diagnosis Murder um, but then I really want to talk about um, David Keith, and I have to say this: this is this is David Keith. A picture will be showing above my head. David Keith, 
and this is Keith David. They are not the same person just because they have the same name that's mixed up. Keith David is a coloured actor who had been in things like John Carpenter's The Thing and They Live and is still acting to this day and doing really well. Whereas David Keith is um, an actor who had really sort of started out in Firestarter and um, he uh, literally a year before Heartbreak Hotel he'd started in the Donald Cameron movie um, White of the Eye which I have seen and I didn't really understand it. I might have to watch it again at some point. But the first film I ever saw David Keith in was um, Major League Two, in which he played Jack Partland, who was this um, uh, cocky uh, catcher who, um, you know, he was the rival to the Tom Berenger character in that movie. Um, but David Keith's performance as Elvis Presley, it's up there as being one of the best because you might think that this is the first movie which features the Elvis character. That's not necessarily the case because literally two years after Elvis's death, John Carpenter made the movie Elvis the Movie with Kurt Russell playing Elvis Presley. Kurt Russell had starred um, as a child actor opposite Elvis Presley in the 1964 movie It Happened at the World's Fair in which Elvis gives him a, like a quarter to kick him in the shins as a way of trying to win the girl over. And Kurt Russell would go on to do uh, movies as a young Disney actor. And to branch away from that, he then got cast as Elvis Presley. And that movie is really, really good. And... He might not look like Elvis, but he embodies the Elvis um, attitude and everything. Whereas David Keith really, really looks like Elvis. I think he did a really, really good job in the role. Um, not necessarily my favourite Elvis uh, representation in movie because I'm kind of biased. Because one of my favourite Elvises is um, in Don Coscarelli's Bubba Hotep, in which he's played by Bruce Campbell as an ageing Elvis Presley. I think, in my opinion, that's the best Elvis. But... Um, this Elvis, played by David Keith, is fantastic. Really, really, really good job. Um, and finally, before I, I just want to mention the director, which is Chris Columbus. Now, Chris Columbus, a year or two before this, had directed the movie Adventures in Babysitting. Um, literally two years after doing this movie, he got his huge Hollywood break film, which was Home Alone and its sequel, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. And since then, Columbus has gone on to do many, many movies, including directing the very first Harry Potter movie, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, or Sorcerer's Stone, as you guys in America call it. So, yeah, so really this movie is an important movie for most of the people involved in it. So would I recommend you check it out? Yeah, I would say this is a, an easygoing movie that you could easily put on on a Sunday night, not really have to pay too much attention to, but... It's quite a unique film and um, it's very enjoyable. I would definitely say it's one that I would watch again. So, yeah, that's Heartbreak Hotel. What, what do you guys think? Have you seen it before? Um, if you haven't, check it out. If you have, leave us some comments. Tell us on the air. You know. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel um, and uh, check out all the links for Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. It will tell you all the stuff that's upcoming on this channel because we've got a lot of content. Trust me. And so, yeah, thank you very much, everybody. And uh, we'll catch up very, very soon. All the very best.